Hello everyone, this is Chaplin Song Kim. I'm Deputy Command Chaplain in the 63rd Readiness Division. I pray you are well. Understanding on the theology of suffering is important to Army chaplains in today's world. The most difficult mission as an Army chaplain is when we do casualty notification mission, when family members ask that, why this happened to me? There's no answer from me. There are many challenges an army soldier may face, such as divorce, being wounded or losing comrade in mission, post-traumatic stress disorder, drug and alcohol abuse, depression, suicide, financial difficulties by like COVID-19, and etc. There are some of the questions I hear daily. How can an all-loving, all-powerful God allow the kind of suffering and killings? Who am I now? How do I put these parts of me together? What really happens when someone dies? How do I square that with love your enemy? Is war just? Why God allows the innocent people die of COVID-19? Why God gives us this suffering? These topics are never easy to talk. What we fail to see is that God is with us in our suffering. Sometimes we may slip into the error of thinking that when we are happy and blessed, God is with us in a special way. But when we are facing difficulties, we wonder if somehow God has abandoned us. Actually, God may be with us in our suffering more than He is with us in our prosperity and times of ease. This is the God who not only heard the suffering of His people in Egypt, he came to be among them and enter their suffering. He was their deliverer in Egypt and camped with them in the wilderness. In the person of Jesus, he came into the world and entered our suffering too. He experienced the pain of rejection and betrayal. When there was suffering and death, he did not avoid it. He entered into those people's very human experience. So, just because you are experiencing difficulties does not mean that God has forgotten you. Quite the opposite. He is closer than at any other time of your life. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6 says, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? C.S. Lewis says, we are promised sufferings. They were part of a program. We are even told, blessed are they, then mourn, and I accept it. It is important to know that suffering itself is what we need to learn to overcome. No theologian can explain the question of suffering, but I can say that it can be overcome with the hope. One of my Christian friends faced the suffering and death from cancer with the calmness. He had confidence in the hope of God's kingdom. I believe that God gave him sufficient strength for his every suffering so that he could face death with the peace. We never understand why suffering exists. But even in the midst of our pain, there is God. Suffering isn't an elective course. It is not optional. Even if a person lives in a mansion and has a great job, suffering touches everybody and affects everybody's faith. If someone asks me, why did this happen? I just say, I don't know why. I don't have any answers. However, I believe God is present with us and works to be bring some good out of pain. And I believe that it is still important for people to hear that. Have a blessed day, blood and fire.